shaped China and the world. People in the know helps you to know the world better. Nihao, you are listening to People in the Know, presenting you with insights into the headlines in China and around the world. I'm Zeng Liang in Beijing. Today we are taking a look at China's science fiction novels. For more on this, we continue to hear the conversation between my colleague He Fei with Ken Liu, American author of science fiction and fantasy, and also translator of The Three-Body Problem. So, like, let's talk about the states. As you're a、um, sci-fi writer in the states, so、uh, who do you think are the you know target readers in the states for sci-fi fiction? You know, oh with, yeah, that's a good question.、Yeah. I don't, you know, it, it, this is a question that a lot of writers, Carrie and Martha, have argued about and thought about. I mean, it, it's really interesting, right? Because I think there's always been this worry among writers that the readership for science fiction isn't growing or or might be in fact dwindling a little bit. Even though the rest of the market seems to be growing, I think what's happening though is just that there are just so many more ways for people to、uh, entertain themselves.、Uh, you know, films, the internet, games, TV—all these things compete for readers' attention. 